Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Boiling Steel. This is a story-driven VR shooter that entered early access on December 5th, 2019. The developers say that they plan to release the full game in the beginning of March 2020. Today I'd like to show the basic settings, the tutorial and some of the early gameplay missions that are currently available. Please keep in mind that this game is still in early access, so things may change in the future. First, let's have a look at the game settings themselves. We have the drop tools mode, the left hand mode, subtitles and play position. Regarding controls, you can select the movement, the rotation and the rotation speed. There are currently no options regarding comfort vignette. Video options are currently very simple with MSAA and pixel density. And you have the standard audio settings that you find in almost any other games as well. Regarding the gameplay language, there is currently English and Russian. And you can see that they plan to implement Chinese, Japanese, Spanish, Italian, German and French as well. Although I think for native German speakers it should be DE and not GE. Regarding gameplay difficulty, you have the Explorer, in case you want to enjoy the story and do not want to bother with the technicalities of combat. The Intern, in case you are relatively new to the genre of VR shooters. The Engineer, for more experienced players of the VR shooter genre. And finally the master, which is basically self-explanatory. Welcome, rookie. First time in the Pioneer program? Strange feeling, huh? <laughs> your body is in a capsule at the orbital station, and your consciousness is here, in a steel shell. <laughs> Relax and don't jerk. Listen to me and everything will be just fine. I understand you've had a long flight, and your body is still in hibernation. But we have a situation here, and Command uses all available resources. There are jumps in neuroactivity on your monitor. Never teleported before? <laughs> Don't be afraid, Junior. When people and animals teleport, their bodies die. But your consciousness has been perfectly preserved in a robotic shell. You already heard the breaking news. The radicals launched a virus on our networks, and this rubbish beat the pre-installed programs for the robotic shells. As the new foci of infection, these walking pieces of iron behave aggressively and kill all living things. But the situation is under control. There is an active stripping phase underway. Under the Pioneer program, all the free inhabitants of the colony have been mobilized. Even children help with the evacuation from infection zones. And our construction team was put into circulation. We are not soldiers. But who cares? There are not enough military avatars, so we will use the shells of the engineering corps. 
They're only armed with a tool for construction work, but I will configure it for an extreme type of work. A nail gun on overdrive is better than a machine gun. <laughs> Your task is simple. Destroy infected robots and follow my instructions. The Pioneer program is good, but its interface is still unfinished. Your consciousness can only control the movements of the head and hands. The legs and torso are controlled by the pre-installed walker driver. Pay attention. You should feel two controllers in your hands. In fact, they are not there. This is a software crutch. But it will help compensate for the shortcomings of not having a body. To move, use the stick or touchscreen on the left controller. To rotate, use the stick or touchscreen on the right controller. Get used to shell management. Well, that's it. We assume that your week-long shell piloting course was completed. You still need to pass the exam, but then you are admitted onto my team. Just follow the lighted path. So there is currently no support for the finger tracking of the valve index controllers, but you can actually manage to get some interesting finger movements with the combination of the grip and the trigger button. This is the crash test section of the assembly plan, but now it works like an obstacle course for beginners. Make it through, and we'll consider the robotic shell operator certificate in your pocket. You can use highlighted objects. The interaction algorithm programmed in your shell will take care of the rest. Try to remove the barrier and open your passage. Bring the manipulator to the lever on the wall. When you feel the vibration, click the trigger to activate the interaction algorithm. Now you need to master the dash. This technique will help your shell keep in good shape. To make a snatch in the right direction, move there and press the activator on the right controller. If you press the activator without moving, the shell will dash backward, which may just save your life. Everything is simple here. Pass this corridor without touching the lasers. Use movements and snatches. And try not to be stupid. I have people just like you. Two dozen newcomers. They also need to be trained and coordinated. Ah, junior, seven-year-old children can go through this labyrinth faster. But somehow you passed. So, that's okay. And now the trial by fire. Use snatches to pass the corridor when the turrets are removed. This is the last test. Pull the lever and use a series of snatches to get through while the door is open. If you hesitate, you'll crash into the sash and start over. Get to the point, Sprog! 
Follow the bridge to the portal, and don't be afraid of rain. With such an operator, the shell will blow up before it becomes rusty. <laughs> For this mission, you will need two tools, a plasma welder and a multifunctional arrester. Try to use them. Just in case, I will show you an operating manual. On the left hand of the shell is a holographic projection of the inventory. To call it, hold down on the grip button on the left controller. Raise your right hand to the selected instrument and hold down the grip button on the right controller. Hold both grip buttons and pull out the projection of the instrument. Just pull the manipulators to the sides and the tool will teleport from the warehouse straight to your hands. Don't be afraid to lose the instrument. You can get a new one at any time. Tool stores are full. You won't live long enough to exhaust them anyway. <laughs> to throw away the instrument, release the grip button on any controller. The spent tool will be returned to the storage repair conveyor. This compartment is isolated. The gateway is de-energized. Look for a switchboard with a backup power. The switchboard is sealed. Cut off all fillings with a welding beam. The switchboard is sealed. Cut off all fillings with a welding beam. The switchboard is sealed. Cut off all fillings with a welding beam. Ah, the backup battery is off. Take the discharge. Direct the discharge into the switchboard's absorber. Charge the battery to the limit. All right. Pull the gateway lever and hope there are no aggressive shells. This is the energy complex of cold electricity. The reactor is shut down because its radiation attracted infected shells. But now, the staff have been evacuated. We need to start the reactor again to attract all robots in the area. Pull these bastards away from other objects and put them all together in a heap so special forces can kill them with one blow. The reactor zone is blocked. The control terminal is located one level higher. Look for the stairs leading up. Device is de-energized. Find the switchboard. Another switchboard. Open up and charge. Terminal disruptor batteries are also empty. Huh. You know what to do. Charge them all. The energy pump for the reactor has been started. 
The central terminal's power has been restored. Use the start lever and wake up the reactor. Getting thick. Can you feel it? Now we're going to have a party. On my scanners, I see thousands of aggressive robots, and they're all running towards you. Get back to the portal. Now! Junior, return to the portal. Come back. Get your butt to the portal. Get back! This is not the time to be heroic. We still have a lot to do. I blocked the gateway. This will delay them a bit, but let's find another way. Bingo! There is a technical portal under the reactor. Get down and find it. Discharges. We still need this shell. Go down, use the elevator. Gateway is destroyed. The bastards broke through. I suggest you hurry. The portal will be active for only a few seconds to make sure infected shells don't have time to pass through. Jump into the This is a Cyber Lab server room. The first aggressive shells appeared here. The complex carried out evacuation and cleaning. There should be no enemies. But of course, that's not accurate. So, I prepared the overdrive firmware for your tools. In overload mode, they will not work for long, but will turn into slaughter kajiggers. Your task is to find and destroy the infected servers in this block. Move your iron butt! This is your first dead robot, Junior. Big bastard. Ah, uh, don't worry, they disappeared. 
Teleportation modules are on all shells, which transfer bodies with critical injuries to a repair station. There, we accept and deactivate them all. Move on and be on the alert. There may be other aggressive shells. there, Junior. Destroy those servers. Now we are done. Go back to the portal. Listen, Junior, I have a personal assignment for you. My ex-wife is asking for help. Families of engineers on the science campus are locked in their homes by a security system. But robots can open those armored clamshells. So you need to help these highly skilled assholes. Doesn't that seem strange to you? The Cyber Laboratory is developing combat programs for shells, conducting experiments to create artificial intelligence. 
And the first cases of infection occur right here. But yet the radicals are to blame for everything. Oh, my artificial heart feels something is not clean here. tools with combat firmware. Go and destroy all the aggressive shells. What are you waiting for? Crush them all! Start, Junior. One family is safe, but it's too early to relax. Go to the next house.
Great job, Junior. Look at you. You've got a knack for this. Objective is clean. Wow. Marta and Emma who live here send their gratitude. And have invited you back tonight. Ha ha. Uh, will you take me with you? Go to the mine. There are two more houses. Only, Junior, no need to rush. My ex lives with her new freak in the back house. Well, you understand. Let them get nervous. Almost everything is complete. There is only the last home. With, uh, my ex. Junior, uh, you you can take a break. Everything here is in order. Return to the teleport hub. Go to the portal. Listen, Junior. Is the capsule with your body at Orpheus One Station now? Then I have some bad news. Information was received about the hacking and infection of all orbital servers of the Orpheus class. Security robots and technical shells have gone crazy. They're killing everyone in their path. And after the robots deal with the station personnel, they will begin to destroy hibernation capsules, the bodies of the operators. Your real body, Junior, can be torn to pieces at any time. So now you have to save yourself. You do not need to return to the body. 
You can't argue with robots. Take this shell to the station. So, these up. were the first Time few missions out. of Boiling Steel. The graphics look very nice, the controls are good, although I wish they had proper index controller support. And the story is quite intriguing, although you need to be careful uh, what's going to happen in the future since this is still in early access. Some minor criticism would be that the story is currently very linear. You can basically only follow the instructions of your guide. I did observe some potential to insert collectibles or easter eggs, but currently there is nothing else to do for you in the game but shoot the bad robots. But again, since this is still an early access, I would be very interested to see what is happening to this game in the future. And with that I'd like to end this video. I hope you enjoyed it and maybe see you around.